It is that time of year many of us start shopping for portable Bluetooth speakers. Whether we're taking them along on picnics, to the beach, camping, or just for portable music at the RV or the trailer, portable Bluetooth speakers can set the tone for almost any summer occasion. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I recently had a chance to review the Uolo Pulse Turbo in my home for a week, and this is what I found. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The Pulse Turbo is a medium-sized 34-watt portable rechargeable speaker that connects to your smartphone or tablet using Bluetooth. This speaker is a study in contrasts, which I'll explain. You won't have any trouble setting this device up. The only setup that's really required is to make sure it's fully charged and then connect it to your device using Bluetooth. Right off the bat, I thought the Yolo Pulse Turbo was a clone of JBL's highly rated boombox. They could be twins when it comes to looks, but the Yolo clocks in at a much lower price. Would it also measure up in terms of overall quality? Power on. Welcome. When you set the speaker up, a strange Yolo robotic voice connected. will guide you. And when I first heard that voice, I have to admit, I did not have high hopes for this speaker. The voice sounds terrible. Power off. Goodbye. Tinny, thin, whispery, and almost as if it's coming from a half-inch speaker. Since that was the first thing I heard, I was not hopeful for the overall sound experience. I also found the packaging looked a bit amateurish in terms of the design and the aesthetics, so I was further concerned about the overall quality. When I unpacked the speaker, I found it feels reasonably heavy, so I felt that that bodes well. But the narrow stand underneath the tubular speaker actually makes it quite tippy. If I was using this device on a boat or a dock, I would be pretty fearful of its future, and I definitely pictured it rolling into the lake with one small rogue wave. The speaker is water resistant with an IPX6 rating, so while a splash might be okay, you definitely do not want this getting wet. I loaded up some music, held my breath, and pressed play. Much to my surprise, the sound quality was actually good, and nothing like the sound of the robot voice guidance. I found the speaker leaned a bit towards the high end and did have a bit of a rasp. Even so, the bass was quite strong and the speaker did get quite loud. The product description says this speaker produces powerful stereo HD or high definition sound. I can't say I agree with that. There's nothing high definition about it in my opinion. I wouldn't say the speaker was very well balanced or high fidelity sounding, so my overall impression is that serious listeners would probably find the sound quality a bit lacking. For the average listener or a kid or a teen that needs a speaker to call their own, this is a fine solution. The Pulse Turbo has a carrying handle, which is definitely convenient. The controls are basic, power, Bluetooth connection, volume up and down. You can Bluetooth stream or you can play music through the auxiliary input, use a micro SD card, or there's also a microphone for taking calls on speakerphone. You can also use this speaker as a power bank to charge your phones or devices by connecting a USB cable. That's nice, but these are basic features you're going to find in virtually every other Bluetooth speaker. You can link two of these Pulse Turbo speakers together for a more powerful stereo sound experience if you want to. Since I only had one during my testing period, obviously I did not try out this feature. The battery life is about eight hours. Again, this feels so basic. While most speaker companies are building 24-hour battery life into their products, and in fact JBL's Boombox does offer 24 hours of battery, having one with eight feels like a bit of a letdown. The bottom line is that it feels like the Yolo Pulse Turbo is only trying to meet the most basic needs in the market, not exceed them. Like it's trying to copy the looks of JBL's boombox without delivering on the goods. For every feature it has, it seems like it's not really trying or not trying to measure up to its competition. The design is basic, the controls are expected, the audio quality is okay, and the water resistance at IPX6 is less than the submersion proof JPL at IPX7. There is just nothing special about the Pulse Turbo here. No special features, no wow, no oomph no spark. While this version costs a lot less than JBL's, it is still pricey for what it is at about 160 Canadian dollars. I'm actually quite surprised that it is not a better overall product for that price.
For me, I think there are much better sounding speakers out there for a lot less money, Sony's XB lineup being just one example. If you want to read more about this, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have about this speaker either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin, thanks so much for watching. Until the next time, you can catch me on Twitter or Instagram, I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.